Anakin never got to finish. Listen to these words. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from mm -hmm. I'm a Jedi. All right, I was going back rewatching, and it got me thinking, right? What if they're about to do Dragon Ball Z meets Star Wars, right? The world between worlds is kind of like, you could kind of think of it like, um, the hyperbolic chamber, right? Where like a day is somewhere equal to like a, what, a year? And it's like an opportunity for Ahsoka and Anakin to like find that closure and for also Anakin to, to finish the training of Ahsoka. And what is time even? What does it even mean in like the world between worlds? Technically, they could kind of like stay there for as long as they need and then find a door, come back to the present and Take care of business. So that's like the happier version of things, right? Where like, most likely, you're gonna have one of the deities involved, which is gonna be the daughter. But judging from how things ended, it, it might be something horrible. You've got pre-cut Anakin Skywalker with the dark aesthetic, right? And then you have on top of that, the music, which gives you a really bad feeling, right? So, from Rebels, right? If the daughter has access to this realm, what if the son also has access to it? Because in Rebels, right, that mad scientist, I'm gonna just call him a mad scientist, um, he talks about how, like, the deities are basically the key to, like, opening and closing this realm, giving you access to the, the world between worlds. And then he follows it up with, you know, Giving us like a sort of rundown on the owl. The owl could be two things. One, it could be like a, a servant of the daughter, right? Or it could be the daughter herself, you know, representing like a spirit guy that guides and follows, you know, just like how she guides and follows Ahsoka and also um, Ezra, right? It got me thinking of ways you could like dive into this world. I'm thinking two ways. One, you either find like a, a Jedi temple or, or something like that where you could access a portal that way or someone physical from the inside goes ahead and pulls you into the world just like how we saw with Ezra because we don't see like we don't see like any ghosts I don't think like ghosts have access to it maybe only the deities have access to it because like all Ezra does is just walk around and it looks, it really looks like it's just a tool. It's a tool that like someone could gain access to and use however they want. Like think of it as like you're just grabbing the remote and then you're trying to access a DVD, right? You're, you're in the menu and you want to go to like a specific scene to access it and experience that scene. Like a DVD menu, it really seems like that's exactly what the world between worlds is. And it's really got me feeling and thinking that that's actually Anakin Skywalker pre-cut, right? And the deities are involved and this is gonna be the son's version of whatever happened in, in Rebels. Cause judging from Rebels, it doesn't seem like the deities have the ability to like pull people into the world. Like it looks like you need like a physical conduit, right? Cause Ezra was lured into that portal. On top of that portal was, you know, the bur the the owl which you could say is the daughter, right? And I'm thinking like, wait, you're like a god. Like, why don't you like go ahead, do something crazy and bring Ahsoka into the world between worlds, save her. Why do you need Ezra to like dive into the portal with his hand and physically pull Ahsoka into it? So I'm thinking, wait, that has to be like Anakin Skywalker doing the same to save Ahsoka this time the sun found a way to lure Skywalker into the world between worlds. And also like, it really seems like there has to be like a, like a physical thing going on because Palpatine using sorcery with the blue flames. And as soon as he touched Ezra's leg, he had the ability to go through the portal into the world between worlds. Because beforehand you could see like there was like a physical bear barrier blocking him i love that scene like you could you you could hear like ezra screaming like he's so scared he's coming through palpatine's coming through and then soka goes and slices 
you know, whatever hold um, Palpatine had on Ezra's leg. And that, that was, that physical touch was giving him the ability to, like, pierce to the veil and, you know, gain access to the world between worlds. And as soon as, like, you know, you know, the theater was cut, you know, he goes back into, you know, reality, you know, no access to the world between worlds. That's why I really think, like, this, this has to be physically Skywalker. It has to be him. There's no other way.